So we currently just have Mark and one of our volunteers, uh, Stefan, who are taking Max down to uh, sick bay at the moment with the respiratory virus that we've got going on. We are doing monitoring the troops um, as often as we can and Mark noticed that Max was having a runny nose and wheezing with the abdominal breathing. So we're just taking him to sick bay for a closer inspection. And we're just walking past Gizmo at the moment. And as you can see, everyone is very interested to know what they're doing. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to give you an update on Max when he gets into sick bay. But with the new antibiotics that we've got, it does seem to be working a lot better. Um, so he should be in there for a while and he is from Goliath. So hoping in the next couple of weeks we can return him. But at the moment, sick bay is very, very busy um, with lots of monkeys getting that extra special care. <laughs> so Max came in to the um, cage very quickly. Mark had some pineapple in there um, and it seemed to entice him in quickly because we, by the time that we got the four bottles from the babies in Goliath, Max was already trapped, so he was very grateful to have us already up there so we could help him get in. But here is Max. Here with animal manager Becky. How's things been today on New Year's Day, Becky? <laughs> Very busy, so a very busy start to the year. Um, so today, uh, I mean, I started with meds. And we've got seven patients in at the moment, in critical care with the respiratory virus that we've been dealing with, um, and then Derek. Um, they're doing really well. Uh, all took their meds today, which is a great sign. They don't normally when uh, they're feeling terrible. So it's a nice sign that they take all of their meds. Um, and then right now I'm just doing all the soft plates for the monkeys um, that need it. So we've got a bunch of golden albies that um, don't have many teeth. Um, so we give them soft food to make sure that they can still eat. Just with co-director Josie. What are you going to go do Josie? So it's been a really busy month as Becky's just said. And we've got to basically keep an eye on the troops. So we're going around to monitor all the troops and uh, every day I try and get to two troops a day so we can keep the, everybody's accounted for, everybody checked on, and that there's no more breathing problems. So it's really important that we see as many monkeys as possible as we can because of this illness going around. So uh, I'll be giving them some grass because Scray don't have much grass and I'll be giving them some garlic corn today and uh, try and see who's all accounted for. Here with meds and vet nurse staff Emma. Um, Emma's been extremely busy with meds yeah. <laughs> for the last couple of weeks. Um, so let's have an update on some of the patients. Who's this? This is Ethan. Uh, he got pulled in, I think, about two weeks ago now, something like that. Um, he's from Skunky Troop. He was noticed by Regina that he um, was breathing, like his breathing was very shallow, abdominal, he was struggling a lot, would just hide in trees, not eat, so we pulled him in. Um, it took him a few days to feel better, but then he started eating again, he's breathing, he's still coughing every now and then. His breathing is sometimes a bit faster still, but much, much better than before. Um, so yeah, he's going back to an intro cage tomorrow and then hopefully back to trip. Yes, you're going home tomorrow, boy. He's not it's the biggest fan of people, so it would be good for him to have some more peace. And then he'll go back to his troop. Not long after, he's going to continue lung support supplements down at the skunky troop. Next. Here we have Jules. He's our oldest monkey at the foundation that we know of. Um, he's normally in South Troop, which is very like impressive, he's still in shock, normally doing really well. Um, same story, he got pulled in, he was weak, um, breathing difficult, so we pulled him into intro cage, he wouldn't take any of his meds, which is why we brought him into sick bay as well for some extra care injections. Um, he's also feeling much better. He's chatting a lot with uh, Banya and the other boys, they all I mean, that's the first sign of them getting 
happy is they all talk to each other and they're having a Great. Really good time. He's also got a lot of parasites as Jules, so we'll be doing a follow-up treatment for him in a couple of weeks as well. Yeah. Got Rennie doing the nebulizer treatment there for Max. Max is our uh, most recent patient. Um, same story, Cook Monkey. He's a young, healthy male normally. So, um, yeah, he was struggling as well. And should we brought him in. Um, he's very humanized. Um, he's a bit stressed as well, so he likes to hide underneath the blanket. Uh, yeah, Renny is now nebulizing him, which just helps clear up lungs, helps with breathing. Um, he's doing okay. He's like, stabilized very quickly. That's it. Same story for Kobe, um, d and monkey, he will, he's doing much better, he's going home tomorrow. Great. Um, same for Bunny Armies, he, they're a very sweet old couple. Um, Armies got pulled in because he was struggling and then Banya we brought her in because they were both struggling even more when they were apart. So we decided to put them together and they doing much better now, they're going home. And our last one at the moment is Shanti Wei. He's the one who's struggling the most. He's one of our blind monkeys. Um, he seemed to, yeah, he got, he went downhill really fast. So we pulled him in, we had to hand trap him. Um, he's still really struggling with breathing. So we're keeping him a bit longer. Um, he's still coughing a lot. He's like still very fast abdominal. Um, he's doing better. He's eating more, a bit happier, but yeah, we're keeping him longer just to make sure he's okay. Shanti's best place is somewhere high on the divider. And at night time he moves down to the pillow and gets a bit more rest. So we're here with volunteer Katie who's just been preparing some milks. Um, what babies are you giving to today or what troops are you making the milks for? Um, this afternoon I'm making some for Timmy and he is over in the Goliath troop. And I'm also making some for the Coco. Actually, I'm making a whole bunch <laughs> <laughs> for HMB as well, mm -hmm. um, but they had to get sterilized, so I'm okay. just being busy making milk. Great, and skunky ones you've got there, and Gizmo, oh, Timmy's and Gizmo, yeah, and then you've got the other ones, Goliath and Coco. Perfect. Thank yeah. you very much. No, thank you. Regina's is just preparing the monitoring bowls with the corn, the garlic, the protexin, and also some herbs for immune support, antibacterial and antiviral properties to give to the troops today to help keep them nice and strong and to recover from any illness. We've got operations manager Hannah preparing all the meds today. There are many, many meds. How's it going, Hannah? Um, not too bad, not too bad actually. Victoria is helping me today and good, good. that's extremely helpful. Um, we're at Smarty at the moment. So we got all the meds prepared on these plates and then many, many different supplements, homeopathics, herbs, veterinary medicines, the lot, lots of different things to put it on. Grapes, lychees, gluten-free special bread for those who have digestive problems. We've even got some dates there today and bananas and mangoes. Yeah. Here's today many wise plays. We've got a lot, as is lots of monkeys in need of extra support at the moment to make sure that they can fight this virus that's going around. So we've got a lot today and it takes up a lot of time. And our collection of bunny bottles, um, we're in need of more. So we tend to use the classic 320 ones, 320 mil ones, and we use the 600 mil bunny bottles. And we need more because we're filling up a lot of ginger tea and rehydration electrolytes for the monkeys at the moment. Thrown seeds to scrow troop, corn to scrow troop even, um, with the garlic mix in. You can see the monkeys are very happy with that. There's Shane at the back. And I'm just looking for any health problems, any coughing, sneezing, nasal discharge, abdominal breathing because of this respiratory illness that's going around. So far, I believe Scro have had most of the coughs. Um, they're getting extra immune support now. 
but they do seem to have been recovered but we're still keeping an eye on everybody just in case there's an effect on the lungs afterwards. There's Miko walking there. Mulan on the right, Yon's just hopping away. And the others there in the distance. I'm also going to be throwing grass into this tube. So you can see they've got a lot of vegetation, but unfortunately some of it is stuff they don't eat, like the shoe thorn. So they do eat some of the vegetation here, but uh, not all of it. So we've got the grass with the seed heads on the outside that I've been giving to them as well. So they love these grasses, which have the kind of seed heads on that you can see there. Zabana. There's Pekko, all looking okay. There is Mulan and Andreas on the left. So you can imagine if we've got 15 troops, it might take us to do a full monitoring, checking the fence, checking the food, checking the health of the monkeys. It could take us an hour per troop and there's about 15 troops here. Some are smaller than others, so some might be quicker. But you can imagine the amount of resources it takes to account for every single monkey on the property and to at least see them within 48 hours, 24 hours is better, to make sure everybody's okay. So anyone who would like to come and help us volunteer, that would be wonderful. It takes a village, as they say, to look after all these guys and to make sure that we can do the best we can for them. We're also looking for interns to come out um, to be even more responsible for a period of time between six months and a year or more. That can actually help get to identify these monkeys individually and help us monitor them, give out their deworming medicine, prepare food and everything else that they need. Um, so we're still looking for more interns for 2024. So do contact us. This is Kate. Volunteer Alex last day <laughs> giving some grass to the old boys Roman and Hardy at Robert B1, which they're very happy about. Have you enjoyed it, Alex? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really a cool trip and cool experience. Ethan going home today, just enjoying his fresh grass and then he's going to be returned to the Skunky F2 intra cage. So, so far he's made a good recovery. I'm going to continue the supplements there. Jules will be going home to Saab. He'll continue his parasite treatments there and additional immune support. Having a nice drink from his ginger tea. I'm gonna go home to Dino and Daniel introduction cage before being returned to the troop. His breathing's also much better. Great appetite, which is good. And Army's in Banya today. Ready to go home. And you're just enjoying her last bit of grass as well. Shanti Ray's breathing isn't so fast today, so that's also a good sign. But he's going to stay with us a bit longer. He's been very poorly. <coughs> all the monkeys resting over lunch. It's all quiet. You can see all the patients that we got here. Armies and Banya finally going home. Oh, yeah, I found 
Yeah, just like I'm also telling innocent that I was telling the guys that you said. Okay, going home. There's one, two. It's gone over to the other side, all happy. Oh, I'm There's Emma who's been doing a lot of care for armies and Banya, giving them their food plates. Doesn't know what to think. It's been a while, hasn't it, guys? Hey? Yeah. Yeah, you're happy to be back. Happy to be home, guys, yes. And here's Ethan, going to be returned to Skunky F2. He's originally from the troop, so he'll stay in there a while and then he'll return to the troop after he's had more lung support. As we go past Scro on the right, with Solly giving out the main feed bowls for the troops, and then we've got Robert on the left side there. Jake and Pixie on the right. And Ethan's going to be returned to this introduction cage temporarily and then before joining the troop. Boy. And Regina, who looks after the bottom section, primate carer, has also been taking care of the sick monkeys and Ethan, so happy to see him go home. Kobe going back to Dino and Daniel introduction cage, and then he'll join the troop at a later date. Yeah, about 40, 40 kg. <laughs> Maybe like 7 kilo, yeah, 6, yeah. six and a half yeah. kilo. Hey. Scobie's a big boy. Mm. It's not always easy manoeuvring these crush cages to make sure that all the doors are closed. And that's Kobe. Ready to go home. <laughs> Jules is going home. 29 year old Jules. I thought that counts. Jules going home to Sav. He's still going to be on some anti parasite treatment. And we'll see how he climbs because he was a bit wobbly when we pulled him in. And he is a doddery old man. So we want to check that he can climb okay and get around. See if you can climb old boy. You're looking better. Yeah, looking like you've got more energy. It's not going to be perfect being 29 years old with parasites but enough that he can return home to his intracage and next to his troop. Shanti Ray having his breakfast. He's got some soaked almonds, some brown rice, some porridge, some oats and some lettuce and some lentil sprouts. That's his first meal of the day and then he'll be getting his morning plate. He's got some ginger tea in a bunny bottle 
with some added colloidal silver in for immune support. And he'll also be getting his garlic corn with the herbs and protects and the probiotics in later on. And then in the evening, he also gets two drops of eucalyptus oil on his blankets to help him breathe better. But he's uh, definitely looking a lot better again. He's got some Kalahari salt for extra minerals there as well. Somebody's got an appetite this morning, it's Max. Absolutely devouring his morning plate. They don't normally get these special plates in the troop. So he's making the most of being in sick bay. Nothing wrong with this boy's appetite, that's for sure. These are some of the plates going out to monkeys who need them. Soft food plates. Lots of different fruits on there. And it will also be given to some of the monkeys who are recovering as well. Some happy monkeys at Coco this morning during monitoring. Grass has been cut ready for release for Atlas, Ricardo, Samba and Yoda. And Smith. There's Eleanor Ann. Sadie. Taro there, hiding in the bushes whilst there's a fight going on outside. <laughs> Luxie's second day in sick bay. She's keeping an eye on her this morning. So she's had her antibiotic injections yesterday and cortisone and immune support. So she's getting lung support as well. She has vitamin E, vitamin B, zinc, coenzyme Q10, NAC, glutathione, vitamin C, vitamin B injections, um, and some co-immune with some herbs in, and some echinacea, all for the immune system to help her fight. And she gets nebulized three times a day, and she even has a Rife Machine pneumonia program as well for a few days. So we do everything that we can for them. I'm checking on Ayla this morning as well, who came in yesterday and is on the same treatment as Luxie. Her breathing has been fast abdominal, so we wanted to take a precaution and pull her in and give her the same treatment, just in case, because they can go downhill very fast, we found out. But it's not easy with Ayla and, Al and Luxie being away, because they're also part of the alpha groups. And we hope that there's not going to be too much chaos in the troops and a change of dynamics whilst they're away in Hotel Sick Bay. Max will be ready to return to Goliath introduction cage tomorrow after his last antibiotic injection today. And then we'll keep a close eye on him and he will continue the lung support up there. He's waiting for his food. He gets so excited about his food. He absolutely devours it. Feeding time for Dino and Daniel trip. Hello. Hello.
There's Merlin on the right. Member on the branch on the left. Looks like Linda at the top. <laughs> Crumpet closest to the camera. Precious on the left. Giovanni behind on the right. Frankie just walking by. Got a nice lot of main feed today. Happy monkeys. Turk waiting quietly in the distance for her turn. Nala just behind Turk there, also waiting. Cheyenne, I think you'll remember her from three babies that she took out a while back. And of course, there might be a bit of fighting as people, not people, as monkeys claim the food piles. They're like people sometimes. Cheyenne trying to get back again. Creeping in, Frankie in the background eating. Honey Bear's lost some weight for a while, so we're trying to keep an eye on her. She's always eating good. I see there on the back right is Silver. Front is Mamba. And who's just joined the pile is Issa Maria. we can't forget our hoppy in the middle. Who has one foot? Shane on the right. Silver on the left, crumpet on the right. Precious walking by and Giovanni and Tammy walking by on the right. Giovanni always very curious and here comes Barney just walking by there. Here's Scully. Scully's lost some ranking in the Dino and Daniel troop um, since he'd had a leg injury but um, he won't come in, refuses to come in any intro cage. I was disturbed by Miss Shanae there trying to grab a pen and the camera. But yes, we've been trying to get Scully in to uh, give the enclosure a good clean and get the shelters ready and everything because he is humanised um, and he can be a bit aggressive with people. So we try and get him in to do anything to the enclosure because he was raised as a pet. Max is going back home to Goliath. He's not been in here very long, um, but we just wanted to get him back on the mend before he goes back home. It's quite a trek to get up to Goliath. <laughs> Bit of exercise for you guys. Yeah. All right, Maxi. Home time, my boy. All right, so we got Max back home at Goliath. Of course, he's from the he says from the trip. So eventually, we will be looking to release him 
out into the enclosure again. But for now, uh, we're going to keep him in this small intro cage just so we can keep an eye on him and see how he progresses. He has been on a course of medication, uh, which includes several injections of uh, an antibiotic. This tree just had her injections this morning, so we hope to be able to help her. She's going to have a water bowl, some ginger tea and some food just now. Gabriel's had his injections. He's actually already got chronic bronchitis and an enlarged heart. So we've pulled him in um, and treating him the same because with him we won't really be able to tell if there's a problem because it all sounds the same. And his wheezing has got a bit worse the last few days. Big Dave very happy to say that he's going home back with his friend Sybil today at Calypso's Corner and we're all very excited to see him get out of here. It's been a good few weeks. A good few weeks that he's had treatment. She's looking for Sybil, who's also blind. He's going back to the side of Engelkey, where he lives with Sybil. We are really pleased to see this boy come home. He was so, so sick. And being blind as well, it's not nice for him to stay in a smaller cage in sick bay. Not sure he knew he was ever going home. Yeah, Been in there so long. So we're just opening the bottom door because being blind, we don't want him to just leap out into the air at the top because he doesn't really probably know where he is. It's going. I think you think. Ooh. Oh, bless you, Shanti. Maybe you can just leave it. Yes, I think it'll work out. I just. He's going. Yeah, he. If you leave like that, I think he'll yeah, that, come out, so it's perfect. You can maybe open both doors, yeah. Shanti, you free boy. Okay. And Sybil's quite nervous of us as well, so she may not come out. <laughs> oh, it's, long, it's been a long journey. <laughs> it has. How is it to see him back today? Emotional. Like he was really, really bad when he came in, so it's good to see him back home. <laughs> Luna, you're happy he's back. Yeah, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> I've already got tears in my eyes as well. Yeah. Bless nice. you, Shanti. Look at you making us all cry. <laughs> Oh, shed a tear for you. Weren't sure if you were going to make it when you came in. And there is Sybil. And Sybil's appeared, which is good. <laughs> She's quickly gone back again. There we go. 
So this is uh, quite an emotional moment uh, for everybody, especially for Shanti Ray. He was in very, very bad condition. And of course, uh, being blind, him and Sybil don't really <laughs> know that each other's back in the enclosure. So, um, you know, you know, it's just nice to sit here and watch and see how the interaction goes with him slowly moving over to her side. They still don't know um, that each other's there. She must have been missing him because he's been away for a little while and uh, sort of, yeah, you can see her peeping out here, hearing somebody walking on her perch and coming out to have a look, not really knowing who it is. And then uh, I suppose when she gets to this point, she realizes it's Shanti and, of course, a little reunion. And him behaving just like a typical male, just turning his back and nonchalantly pretending everything's as normal as it should be. Well, of course, uh, Sybil giving her to all, uh, just showing how pleased she is that he's basically back there with and they're back together again, uh, which is kind of amazing. Uh, he's taking full advantage, of course, of the situation and uh, getting as much grooming in there uh, as possible in all parts groomed where he can. And uh, she's kind of reciprocating. So it's a very nice moment to actually have been able to witness um, with these two just to see how they reunite and basically greet each other and show each other the fiction um, being away from each other for such a long period of time. And we're going to let him back out in the troop. He's had immune support. He did lose some weight. He's an older boy now. And uh, today we're going to let him back in the troop to be with his friends. Mufasa on the left and there's Hocus waiting telling him off for getting all the extra food no fighting guys it's supposed to be a happy occasion well of course finally Pedro uh gets given the break he needs to get out there. You must just remember Mufasa was introduced uh, recently. So there is a little bit of rivalry going on and uh, we do have to take note of that. Kobe's big day today after he's recovered from the respiratory illness. He's going to return to the Dino and Daniel troop. It's Frankie we just passed. He had quite a lot of heavy rain. Kobe is quite content in his intro cage because he's lower ranked, so but uh, it's time for him to go home now. He's had lots of food and waiting, so he's going to go home. Okay, boy, enough eating. It's time to go home. <laughs> Busy chewing on some grass. Well, in some cases for the big males, the intro cages is a way of, of getting away and a little bit of peace and quiet and getting special food without having to fight everyone for it. But uh, yeah, it has been quite a test, quite a test on the whole team uh, at the foundation with this uh, virus uh, going through, this respiratory virus. It's, it has tested everybody, but uh, I'm glad to say we seem to be on top of it. And it's so nice to actually see these monkeys basically recovering um, and being able to go back into their troops. So uh, yes, we did have a few losses, um, 
It caught us very, very unexpectedly. And uh, that, of course, is something you've got to be very, very aware of. Uh, with running a sanctuary, there's always a chance uh, of things um, not going as, as you planned. And it can spread quite rapidly. If your team are not on top of things and not wide awake, uh, it can have disastrous consequences. So we're just grateful for everyone, the volunteers, everyone that put in a lot of efforts, uh, especially Pazza for reacting so quickly to help us get the right medications so that we could treat these animals as quickly as possible and have the least uh, um, amount of fatalities. Thank you everyone for watching, for being part of it, for those that helped, for those that contributed, uh, for those that share. We really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next episode.